There you go. $256 fine. George, this is going to be one of our biggest challenges ever. Did you say challenge? Yeah, I did. We have to spend $100,000 in less than 24 hours. You think we can do it? I think absolutely we can do it. I don't know how the hails we're going to get it. Wait, I know. We can give $50,000 away right from the forefront. Let's do that. We'll restore the love. Bam! $50,000 out of the way. Sure. You'll see that video this upcoming summer. And now we got to get on the road and go spend some money. Let's go. Let's do it. We're here to look at a 20 foot, 20 foot trailer. And this is our first meeting, our first appointment here in Florida that we absolutely had to get here for. And we actually got here two days early despite all the difficulties that we had. So we're hoping we can make a cash deal real quick so we can get up and running with the business here in Florida. My professional opinion, 20 foot trailers are the best. And the reason is, is because you're hauling behind your truck and you're never lifting up. So when everything is ground level, that's what's important. One of the things you always gotta look at, you gotta look at your connector right here. So this is your connector. You can see right here, this one actually got pulled out this one got ground flat on the road. So this would have to be replaced right there. Probably have to replace the battery as well. Let's look around back real quick. This is the most important thing. You always want a door that goes and pulled down. So when you're working with dollies, you're working with dollies, you're working with anything, you always want the, the ramp that goes down. Avoid the barn doors at all costs. Don't ever go with barn doors. You always want the ramp. And look at this, this trailer comes with a bonus. Look at this, George. You see that right there? That's an authentic frog. Floridian froggy right there. He's just chilling. So one of the things we're looking for inside of a trailer as well is we've got to look for water damage. We're looking up top, we're looking on the sides. Nice, this one is actually completely and totally sealed. I don't see any water damage on the inside. Nothing whatsoever. So those are the main things that we're looking for. And then we gotta go look for the treasure in the storage units. And the reason why the 20 footers is because you can actually get inside the storage unit facilities most of the time. I've had a few mishaps where I've nicked something here or there, but 20 footers seem to be able to get around all the facilities in the buildings hooked up to your truck. 24 foot is too much and 16 foot is not enough space. 20 footers is always the way to go. Going for a joy ride, where are we heading? We have 70 acres that has pretty much been untouched since it's been abandoned. We need a tractor. She thinks my tractor's awesome. A so green we're gonna tractor. Uh, we're gonna try and go for a little bit more than a little tractor because size matters in the what the hails world. So we're gonna see if we can get a tractor. We want a front loading bucket. We want a brush hog for the back, and we probably want a grappling hook as well. And I think we might have to go with the color green and yellow. Did you say green and yellow? Might be deer time. Get her done. There's some John Deere. They're selling this as a package. You get the trailer, you get the brush haul. Why don't we, we, you know, there's some other stuff here too. Why don't we go inside? Let's see if we can talk to a sales rep. Let's see if we can get a little something bigger. Bigger? This thing is huge. So this 44 horsepower and the Ford. bucket. Yeah. See how it says 40, 44? Yep. The first number on John Deere, that's your tractor. The first number on John Deere is your frame size. Right here. Everything after that is horsepower. So frame, horsepower. Yep. Okay. The tire's bigger. Everything's bigger than this one. Picks up a lot more. You can do a lot more. You can put, this, the other one is five foot implements. This is six foot implements. Yeah. Six foot bush hog, six foot whatever you want to do. You sold this one already. Well, that's what I would. I'd want a canopy as well. I don't want the. I don't want the full uh, cab. I just want a canopy. Yeah, that's the 
if you, an R would be the cat. Yeah. It's pretty. Right now we're looking at a tractor of all places. Where's it at, George? Ohio. It's in Hillsboro, Ohio. So we had to come all the way down here to see if we get a tractor from all the way up there. It's AB000187. So what do you think about the tractors? I think size definitely matters. Amen. Pre preach it, sister. Preach uh, it. Stand up and go, testify. Definitely want to go bigger than the two tractors that we looked at. Okay, so what do you think about getting a tractor from Ohio and shipping it to Florida? That's just like... Crazy. Or maybe it's representing. It's definitely representing. Maybe it's meant to be because it's okay. from Ohio. So we're waiting for a quote. Then we've got to negotiate. Where are we headed next? Next, we are going to hit up the post office because Mama needs the boxes <laughs> to ship out some then... stuff. then? Then we're going to go to Horseshoe Beach to look at some steel buildings. We're looking for our 100 by 100. I found another dealer 35 minutes away. Just got on the road. Just got on the road. Got a call from the sales rep there. Said, hey, these, these guys just came in. In 10 minutes, they're going to buy the tractor you want. I just upped the miles per hour by 10. And we don't even know if we're going to get it. But we have to have a tractor for the property. There you go. Give me just a warning. warning. Yeah. Thank you, It'd sir. It'd be a $256 fine if it was a ticket. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're, okay. we just got here a few days ago, so we're still learning. So. All right. Yeah. All right. Are you uh, moving to Florida? Or? Yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna be winter time, week, and then we'll go back in the summer up in Ohio. Okay. Cool. We're bringing business down here, the whole deal. There you yep. go. Good deal. Yep. All right. Thank you. You have a good day. Appreciate it. We're about to find out if we get this tractor or not. We haven't even seen it yet. We're trying to buy it. Let's go look. This one right here. No, it's not this one. It's gotta be. This is a 65. We're looking for a 55E. It's over here. So this is the one I wanted. The 5055E. It's got the canopy on it. We got the 520M loader. Also has the grappling hooks on it already. And we just raced. I got pulled over, got a warning. Somebody got here beforehand and they're doing a financing offer. If it falls through, then we get it. But this is what I wanted. We lost the deal on the tractor that we wanted. Had the front end loader, had the grapple, had the canopy, which those were just a couple hundred bucks. We lost it by 10 minutes. Well, that's what happens when you get pulled over. Uh, because communication kind of suffered, right now what the dealership is doing is they're trying to give us a tractor, a brand new one. We're looking at this one now, 5575. And this is what would help us pull up all the palmetto bushes. So as we clear different areas, put in a lawn, this would help us pull up the palmetto bushes, all the down logs. So grappling is kind of pretty important as far as picking up, moving logs. And we also need the bucket. We've got to have a bucket on the tractor as well. And for, the bucket looks like this. The bucket would look like that, but bigger. Let's go back inside. Let's see if we can actually make a deal happen. Made a new friend. His name is Turkey. He wants to play, but he's growling at me. He wants to play fetch, but he's growling. We're looking at a brand new tractor, 50, 55. We document everything in our life. You take a picture. Um, you take it with you. So we're trying to get a deal. This is what we're looking at since we haven't been able to get a tractor deal. We're trying to get a deal. And what we're trying to do is $40,000 cash. Yes. 40, off the door. Okay, so 40000 off the door, brand new tractor, grapple, loader, 
yeah. canopy installed, delivered on site, out the door for yeah. you. Yeah. I'm going to turn it for you. Well, maybe. We got a deal? Yep. I'm going to turn it here so it's in right I'll there. sign it. Let me shake your hand. Okay. Taking a bad experience and frustration, turning it good. Alex, the manager, appreciate it so much. Where you are you located? Uh, we are at AgPro Crystal River in Crystal River, Florida. You can uh, reach out to us, 352-651-5143. We appreciate it. Thank you. This has been amazing, trying to get our tractor on. Oh, yeah. Thank Go you. John Deere. We got it. <laughs> what are you doing? I get to pick a hat. There, we bought a tractor, and now? It comes with, it comes with a free hat. A hat. You're yeah. getting spoiled. They are spoiling you. Okay, well, hat. So these are the two prominent okay. female hats, but I kind of like this toddler hat. <laughs> you know what? That would actually get you, getting you some John Deere fit. gear to wear on the tractor. That'd be kind of nice. A little too tight. I don't think this will fit. You don't think that'll work? So maybe that one. You can get, you can get a t-shirt if you decide. It doesn't matter. Oh, look at that. They're throwing t-shirts at you now, too. Okay. I'll take the hat. I always wear the hat. That's the hat you're going for? Yeah, I think I like this one. Which hat do you think I should get? Um, that's, that's, I don't know. Oh, look at that farm Florida. Oh my goodness. That one would be a good one. John Deere. What do you think? I like this one. Pick me one out. I like this one. You gotta pick me one out. Or we could be twinning and we could both have the same hat. Alright, let's twin. Alright. So, Mark has kind of been taking us under the wing since the moment we got here, trying to calm us down, trying to make us happy. Are you happy? He's made it right. And Mark, now what do you want to do? Uh, I just gave him two hats and now they're really <laughs> smiling, so I'm just going to take their money and take the best care of them that I can while their tractor is uh, up and running. And start a YouTube channel. Start and, yeah, yeah, I'm going to start my own YouTube so channel. So there you go. <laughs> you can you can check Mark out. He's going to start a channel. What's it going to be called? Uh, that's what you call it. TBD to be determined. <laughs> there you go. I love it already. <laughs> George has got her eye on some tractors. You think that tractor's sexy? Yeah, I could drive it with my feet. Today's another day, and it's a day where we have to spend more money. Now, that may sound counterproductive to most people. You're trying to make money, not spend money. But when you have a business and you have a successful business, you need to spend money, and that gives you tax breaks before the end of the year. And so that's why George and I are actually down here before we're on the property. We need to spend the money for the business before the end of the year and before we're actually on the property that we bought. Today, trailers. We're here and this is the 20 footer that we're looking at. It's 20 foot plus the V-nose. So the V-nose actually gives us more storage. The other thing is it does is it breaks the wind and that gives us better gas mileage, especially with the truck that we're hauling. Ramsey's is a diesel guzzler. The best thing is down here in this area, they manufacture them all in Georgia. We actually already have one being manufactured in Georgia. We just can't get it in time to actually start going to the auctions. So we're gonna have to buy from a dealer. There, th this trailer in Ohio used, if it was 15 years old, look, come take a look at this. 15 years old in Ohio would cost me used $5,000, easy. So we're just going to bite the bullet because we have to get the business going. We're going to bite the bullet. We're going to pay $6,500 with tax title out the door. Brand new. It's got okay? that fresh wood scent. It is fresh. This we trailer has never it, been opened. We will have it smelling like nasty man butt storage unit in <laughs> no time. No time whatsoever. <laughs> so the best part is we, we are where they actually generate most of these. They manufacture them at a cheaper price. If I were to take this up into Ohio, I'd probably get 10 grand for this, which is why Jesse of Clear Thrifts actually asked me to bring one up when we come back home to Ohio this spring. I'm gonna show you the one we have on custom order next. We've been having a hard time trying to find trailers. 20 foot, that's what we want with the ramp. So I got one. I have one being custom made. We still have the one. Oh, look at that. Uh, we still have the one that we just purchased, but let me show you the one that's being custom made. I went to Max Cargo and this is the one that I actually got, George. You see this here? Yeah, so we got the V-nose that cuts down on the wind resistance. That color? 
Uh, it's actually, I believe it's going to be black. Or maybe, actually it might be that color, which the other one is black, so that would be nice. This is what's most important. we got to have that ramp that comes down because that helps us get in and out with ease. The V-nose, again, D-rings for tie down, and that cuts down on the resistance. Drove all the way up to Georgia. All of these trailers are custom made. Look at all these beautiful trailers, and here's ours. Gorgeous, but it's all the way in the back, somehow, some way. We've got to navigate it out of here. Um, more trailers, more trailers. Whew. It's beautiful. I do like it. I like it better than the other one that I just bought. But I'm in trailer heaven. Somehow we got to get it all the way up there to the truck. She's almost on. Yeah. Give her a little shove back, huh? There, that is one beautiful trailer. George is hiding over there because she doesn't have makeup on. She wanted the trailer to match to match the truck. Got her out of Georgia. Look what we did. We got a 500 gallon bulk fuel tank. And the beautiful part is, they'll come out whenever we get low and fill us on up. So we're good for the diesel. This is the virgin, the virgin filling of the tank. I love it. We're all set. We can get diesel for the tractor, diesel for the truck anytime we need it. Oh, she's so green. Oh my goodness. Here she comes. Oh man. Yes. Hmm. We're going to have to come up with a name for that tractor. We are going to have to come up with a name for that bad boy. Might be a girl. What do you girls think? You think it's a girl? Yeah, they think it's a girl. And away we go. Oh man. She's sexy. She is sexy. -hoo -hoo. I like you like. <laughs> hey guys. Mark. George, what are you doing? Mark, you look a you sleeping on the job isn't this, already? Isn't this the hammock that comes with the tractor? She always, she's napping all the time. It's not, it doesn't come with the tractor, it's option. The optional nappage? Optional nappage. Okay, op, op, is the uh, is the hat optional too there? This was company given, so yes, this is kind That's of a company attire I'm wearing. John Deere Green, I gotta see the rest of this. What's going on you here? Ready? You didn't dress like this. You weren't, you weren't looking like this when you sold it to me. This is my... This is my get out of town. Holy hails. Look at them legs. <whistles> we are not in Ohio anymore. <laughs> and you're not in Kansas either, Dorothy. Now that you've interrupted my nappy nap on the grapple hammock, what's next? Well, I thought since uh, my buddy here spent uh, 45 grand on a tractor, grapple, and bush hog, I would give him this $22 hat to say thank you. Fancy. There you go, Jeremy. <laughs> Free hat with every purchase. Looks good on you. You think my tractor's sexy? Yeah. Absolutely. We have to find out how strong this grapple is. That grapple looks like it could crush I don't know, maybe an apple. Bam! Okay, Mark, we gotta know. You, you, you sold it to us. How strong are these grapples on the tractor? I once picked up a Sasquatch with it, if that tells you anything. Swamp ape? Swamp ape, baby. Think we can, think we can take a swamp ape out? Let's do it. Let's see how strong it is. We're gonna put it to the test. 
right now. Ready to put it to the test? Let's do it. All right, we're going for it. We're gonna put it to the test. George. Ready to crush it? Let's see how strong this thing is. Oh, I've been ready to crush it. Oh, here we go. Go, Mark, go! Oh, man. Oh, man, did you see that, George? Oh, he busted that thing up big time. Wow. Wow, oh, wait, George wants more. George wants more. Uh, how much more crushing do you want? And, oh, oh, split that thing in half. Think of what it could do to things like, I don't know, cotton or sponges. Let's try my next. Probably not. Just kidding. Attempt number two. Now we're gonna try to crush this. Thing. Whoa! All right, Farmer Mark. Did you get my underwear and socks out that yet? Yep, your underwear and socks are out. Crush! Yeah! Oh man! Oh wow! Yeah! That's some serious crushing. Oh! Are you seeing this? Wait, wait, it's waving, it's blinking at me. It's blinking. George is, George is liking it way too much. Oh wow. Look at that, it's blinking. It's winking, it's blinking. This is gonna make, this is gonna make taking care of garbage so much easier. Not only easier, but Yeah, I love it. So, so stinking fun. It's Jeremy's turn. Time to test this bad boy out. I'm gonna take this bush out. Man versus bush. Jeremy's gonna attempt to try and take this annoying bush that's in our way with the grappling hook. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'll get it. He, he's a bit rusty, but don't tell him I told you guys that. I, I get it. <laughs> I get it this time. You're doing great. One more shot. Just keep swimming. You're doing great. Here we go. Here One more go. shot. Tractor out. versus bush. It's more like a comb. You're combing it. I would get it. <laughs> nice job. Where'd it go? It's like it was never there. Now it's my turn to have a chance at it. George does not mess around. Oh my goodness, look, she got it. She got that entire tree. She, she did it. Oh my goodness. How do you feel? That was a piece of cake. How'd I do? Um, I would like some cake right now. Can we have cake? Cake, 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 chocolate? Please. We're having way too much fun. Remind me again, what did we get a tractor for? Well, there were a number of different reasons. There really were. Like, well... Really, it doesn't matter except for number one. We've got to have something to pick the fruit on the property. That's one grapefruit. Fresh grapefruit. I'm gonna try to catch it. <laughs> Got it. One grapefruit. I think there's four up there. So he's got three more to pick. One more. One more get grapefruit. 
One more to go. Three down, one more to go. This is gonna be some good eating right here. Fresh grown grapefruit. That's some seriously fresh grapefruit. Look at that. Did it do the job? It sure did, and you know why I needed it's them? It's time to juggle. This, this is why I needed them right here. This is the only reason we spent $45,000 on a tractor to pick grapefruit so I could live my passion. Because <laughs> you were raised by clowns, right? I was, I was raised by clowns. Watch this, I got another trick. Nice. Disappeared. <laughs> Love it. It's race time. Start your engines and your batteries. When I say go, then we go. On your marks, get set. Go, 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 go. Go! <laughs> See you later, sucker! <laughs> Woo! We smoked him. Smoked him. <laughs> He's coming after us. Ah! <laughs> you cheated. I said go. You Time for some more fun. We're gonna test out the tire, see how much damage. It We're doing oh, Farmer Mark. We're gonna do the crush test. That came from our chickens. Super chicken. Oh man, here we go. <laughs> Farmer Mark, roll that tractor. Here it goes. No stinking way. Oh my goodness. George, George. <laughs> we literally have super chickens. Super strength. Super oh chicken. my, Super uh, we're going to have to try something else. Time to up the ante. Now we're going to put a bottled water underneath the tractor. That's water from our spring. Woo, it already has orange Flavor. juice in it. Orange flavor. George, George. <laughs> The tractor literally didn't crush the egg, didn't, didn't crush, crush the, the water, water bottle. bottle. Your tractor might be defective. <laughs> it does have tang inside that. I don't think that's it's true. Water, I think it's tang. That's true. Uh, super strength tang. I have one more idea. Let's truly put the tractor to the test. Let's see if it can take my castle out. I want to crush the castle. It's GI Joe in his Fisher Price castle. Show me what you got, Mark. Let's do it. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's a good tractor. That's a good tractor. One more test, the ultimate test. You know what I like to do when I go to beaches, George, right? Maybe. Dig a hole. Who doesn't <laughs> go to a beach only to dig a hole? Let's see how well the front loader bucket does at digging a hole. Coming in hot. It took a big chunk out. Pretty impressed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, boys will be boys with their toys. First he digs a hole, and now, what are you doing? You had a nap earlier. 
I'm taking a nap about six feet under. <laughs> I love this property and I love this tractor. More than me? If I tell you it is more than you, what are you going to do? Is this where you want to die? Yeah. Yeah, it is. All right. Well, then I'm about to bury you alive. We've had just an amazing experience as we've moved to Florida, particularly in Otter Creek and Crystal River. Can't say enough about what Mark and Alex have done with us at AgPro and Crystal River. Want to encourage you, jump on Google. Give them the best review you possibly can. That matters to a business. This business has done phenomenal for us, and no doubt whatsoever, they would do phenomenal for you. Bigger is always better.